my meta millionaires i'm your host terry and welcome to my channel baby buy the dip let's go so in today's video i'm going to talk about the upcoming catalyst and i want to go over a recent analyst report that was done back in june may and june so we're going to go over that that is on the official meta website and i want to uh just kind of refresh everything why we love meta and what meta does and a lot of the key elements from that analyst report it's very key we keep up with that so Real quick here on the Twitter, MMAT News has some fantastic DD right here to keep us quick up to date. He has a post here from the shareholders of the earnings key takeaways. To keep in mind, guys, the growth was nearly 200% year over year. They have no debt and over $150 million in cash. Multi-year, multi-million dollar contracts with several OEMs. In the process of securing electronics contract manufacturer providing design for manufacturer services also here what to expect this week trending topics with meta we got ceo's name found under oil co holdings dividend related short squeeze mentioned on cnbc meta is attending the law enforcement conference this week get out here to the upcoming catalyst uh the 8th through the 10th the law enforcement conference the 11th through the 14th chief of police conference the aweear event is 11 9 through 11 11 uh, preferred dividend payout slash spinoff current through 12 31 grand opening of the 64,000 square foot production facility current 2022 electronic manufacturing design contract no date period and upcoming partnerships of course no date provided and we also got the nanotechnology acquisition in October as well, guys. So that is a couple key things. Now, what I wanted to do is go here to official meta materials. And I wanted to see if there was any analyst coverage. And I want to just refresh our memory on this analyst coverage. And we do have one from Cormark Securities Firm. And it was Mac Murray D. Well, PhD. And here's his report. You click view report. And boom, it's going to take us here to the analyst report. And here it is, Cormark Securities, Emerging Ideas, Meta Materials. Over here are the key facts. Now, this was MMAT on the CSE. It says the date of this report was June 11, 2021. Uh, company website, metamaterials.com. Goes over here in some of the information. So here we go. The company overview. MMAT has developed extensive portfolio of IP for both design and product of these materials into transparent films for a merit of applications from enhancement of 5G coverage and films, automotive de-icing products and medical devices such as glucometers and image enhancements. What else sets Meta apart is not only it's capable of designing specific properties into its materials, but it has pioneered a roll-to-roll -roll technology capability for producing large amounts of the materials that is currently being ramped up at its facility in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Down here in the highlights and catalyst, IP spanning um, holography, lithography, and wireless sensing technologies ensure to fast growing segments of 5G automotive, augmented reality and solar reality, I mean, Augmented Reality Solar Energies Industries with TAM of US 50 million. Medical Imaging Century Industry brings another 30 billion in TAM. Wow. Damn. Total address market 50 billion. Maybe I read that wrong. So billion, not million. Uh, customer partners relations with major industrial players including Airbus, Samsung, PPG, Denso, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and others. Early stage collaborations arrangement with Covestro for holographic films and product samples of nano web products are under evaluations by customers in Japan, Israel, the US, South Korea, China, and Germany. Completions of the RTO with Torchlight this month will bring US listing and US 26 million in cash, burn rate less than 6 million annually. Some of the notable recent developments. Collaborates with Sage Geosystems on ARPA e-proposal. That was done here in April 2021. 
uh, where they're going to evaluate the MMAT's NanoWeb technology for thermoelectric general systems. Uh, obtains final order of for plan of arrangement. They did that here in March 2021. They also signed a 10-year lease agreement to expand the operation in March 2021. That was the Dartmouth facility, 15,000 square feet to 68,000 square feet to allow um, addition to holography and lithography R&D labs next phase in its roll-to-roll -roll process. Collaborations with Suski to improve the 5G and 6G infrastructure. Together, MMAT and Suski are developing a new transparent and flexible radio wave reflection film, which passively reflects and transmits radio waves into the 6 GHZ and millimeter wave uh, ranges. The aim is to improve performance and coverage of 5G and 6G networks. They acquire assets and IPs from Switz lens makers installs the first C-Wave tunable laser, deepens relationships with Covestro, provides gas dive mask prototypes for U.S. military. Uh, it says here how many materials uh, functionality from patterning the nanoscale. And we keep scrolling down here. Uh, I just want to give you guys some of the highlighted information out of this. Um, I will put this link down in the pinned comments. Here it has some more pictures going over some of the stuff of the meta materials and the nano imprint and lithography. But this is a very good read. I was scrolling through here and I wanted to give you kind of the highlights of this. They're talking about AI software, which is uh, pretty awesome. The proprietary roll to roll production equipment, which can produce uh, large area and high volume nano composites. They got the production scale here. They, they talk about the lithography technology. Uh, keep going here guys they got the wireless sensing technology growing IP position technical achievements have brought important awards MMAT's activity in the metamaterial space has brought it several important awards how often we talk about metamaterials getting awards in January 2019 MMAT was named one of the global clean tech 100 companies in the world out of over 13,000 innovators from over 90 countries also in the same month, uh, Dalhousie University and Myatics announced 1.6 million collaboration to explore different areas, applications of metamaterials to including absorption enhancement and ultra thin cells. They got here, application and market highlights, transparent window films, automotive components, solar energy, augmented reality application. That one there, man, is pretty exciting. Uh, down here at the bottom, says how the market solutions using materials supplied in partnership with Covestro. Uh, and it says that here at the very bottom, this market is estimated to be in excess of 1.5 billion annually. They got the medical applications, which you got down here. Medical imaging and sensor technology examples, the RADI-wise, MAMO-wise, GLUC-wise, and Molecure Biosensor. And here you got the market potential for each one. Uh, 2 billion on that one, 4 billion on the MAMO wise, 15 billion on the glue wise, and 10 billion on the molecule wise. Uh, we got the market creation. Let's keep going down here, guys. There's so much information. Uh, I just want to, like I said, remind everyone why we love this stock. I don't care about all the other stuff out there. This is facts because this is facts from an analyst. There's no beating around the bush on this. This is hard. Facts from an analyst covering Meta. And here we got Lux Research estimates 50 billion TAM in lens and optic segments. As we noted above, the biomedical markets total more than 30 billion with the automotive and 5G markets. We estimated that MMAT's TAM is in excess of 80 billion owing to a broad technology application. Like what? They noted here that 80 billion is going to be the TAM, the total addressable market, guys. Here's going to be all our partners right here. We, we covered Samsung, Sony, Lockheed Martin, which is a huge one, Covestro, Boeing, Panasonic, PBG, Mon, uh, Mazda, Airbus. I mean, there's just uh, transitions. It's just so much here. Uh, let's see. Name of the competition has broad exposure. 
We got the competitive landscape for the metamaterial companies. Right here is all the metamaterial kind of uh, competitors, the semiconductor competitors, the chemical and specialty materials competitors, ITO and specialty coatings competitors, and carbon nanomaterials competitors. Um, we got the operating facilities, business development activities, design verification. We got, um, here we go. Over the course of the past year, MMAT has made significant progress on business development along the path from early stage collaboration to production. Below we'll list some of the major milestones. Covestro agreement in Q3 of 20, MMAT and Covestro, uh, Dutchland AG signed a three year supply deal for photosensitive holographic film materials. This is all early access to Covestro's R&D library to photopolymer films, which we expect to accelerate product development. Target makers include photonics, optical filters, and holographic optical elements, diffusers, laser eye protection, optical combiners, and augmented reality application. The NanoWeb purchase order in 2019 and 2020 MMAT delivers NanoWeb proof of concept and product samples in OEMs in Japan, Israel, the US, South Korea, Germany, and China. Purchase orders were received and samples were delivered for testing in solar and energy product applications. Get down here to the Softworks agreement. Uh, 2019, they made an agreement with um, Softworks, Innovation Hub, there's just so much down here, guys. They go over here about the financials and corporate activities, which we kind of covered that in a sense, but it does talk in here about Torchlight and everything. So I wanted to bring you this info. Down here, it has its comparables, the valuation, the capitalization, the average median. And down here, uh, they do talk about the management here with George Palakaris, uh, the president and CEO, founder of 12 years in leadership and positions of high tech Startups, Goldman Sachs, MIT Enterprise, and EY Awards for Entrepreneurship, Stanford, Hartford, and 50 plus patents and three industry awards. They also talk about Kenneth, Kenneth Rice, Jonathan Watern, Gardner Wade, uh, Themos Kalos, Scott Richards. And here it, it does talk about the risk. They talk about there's competition risk. They talk about there's limited operating history. There's also risk for technology acceptance risk, manufacturer and scale up risk, regulatory risk, a currency risk, and a supply chain risk. Let's go over these bottom ones here. Regulatory risk. Products in the medical space are required extensive evaluation before adoption. Some may be subject to expensive, risky, and time consuming trials of patents. Uh, the currency risk. Any significant fluctuation between Canadian and US dollars may have adverse uh, impact on the operations, supply chain. The company depends on third party suppliers. Shortage of materials or failure to deliver components on this time may disrupt the company's operations. And down here, it says emerging ideas is a core mark security. Publication that is not construed as research report. Core mark. Core mark is not initiated formal continuous research coverage of the stock and maintains no ratings, earnings forecast, or target price for this stock. Furthermore, core mark, core mark makes no undertaking whatsoever. Provide the subsequent commentary on this stock. So there you go. They don't give us any price targets. They don't give us if it's a buy rating, a hold, or a sell rating. They just kind of went in and did a big evaluation on the stock. Now, I do know this was a little bit of a longer video, so I do want to thank everyone that stayed through. I wanted to go over the key points of this analyst coverage that was done back in May and June. The report came out in June, and I think there's a lot of great information in here. Um, so I'll put that link down below. Make sure you go read over this analyst report. It has a lot of great information, and I wanted to bring you some of the highlights of that, and I hope you all enjoyed me kind of refreshing our memory why we love meta and what meta is going to be doing in the future so if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace